Alright, sorry about that. Guys, it took, it took a second for me to get to get ready up, uh, get ready to get started here pretty soon, pretty quick. If the streamer doesn't show up within uh, 15 seconds, are we allowed to leave? Joking, joking. Hope you guys brought your film. Hope you guys brought your, your cameras. Because we're continu continuing our Pokemon photo safari here. Uh, Pokemon Snap, the new Pokemon Snap, I should say. For the Nintendo Switch. Certified Pokemon moment. Is there a po is there a is there a camera Pokemon? I feel like we've got a lot of inanimate object Pokemon. If we can have a literal key ring Pokemon, we could probably have like a camera Pokemon. I don't know. Something something. Rotom possessed someone's camera or something. Yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, check our social media over here. <laughs> Someone likes their light bulb. Their light, my pardon? Uh, Pokemon that sleeps in this area. Palm. I think we saw that one last time. It'll tell us if there's a new one here, right? I I bet it would. Um, okay. Let me just make sure everything's coming through on Twitch, and we'll get started. Definitely looks like it. Uh, did I summon the stream element spot yet? Which is active. You can use like the like the weird commands with like the uh Why can't I think of the word for it? The 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 punctuation when you're yelling. I keep wanting to call it an explanation mark. Uh I, I don't remember what it's... <laughs> I'm just having a moment. Anyway, that aside... Looks like we're good to get started here. So I found out something. I was talking to a friend about the game. <laughs> I said I'm about to get started. Then I do this. This thing. Apparently in the Pokemon Y... Uh, Pokedex. This this ain't no butterfly. This is this is a mosquito. Like apparently, like it like attacks you with the with the uh, nose thing, the proboscis there. You came that close to to certain death. Just one of those. You didn't realize how how close you you got to a really bad situation until way later type scenarios back in the pod uh so i guess we keep going with the night jungle one so we get that to like the next level so we can get to the glowy pokemon here Todd's tips don't overlap. Don't do it. The temptation is there to overlap, but don't. Trust me, just don't. I forgot all the buttons. <laughs> okay, I got it back again. Never mind. Yes. Come closer, cat. Eat the fruit. Oh. And they're off. I should take a picture of the apple. It's, uh, it's Appleton. 
Probably. Set it on fire and it'll be the uh, new fire type starter. So this is just like the, the mushroom level. More low. Cat. Uh. That's a big pseudo wudo. I should keep my eyes like towards like the areas like behind us and off the side. Because you know that's where, where all the interesting stuff's going to appear because your eye is going to be drawn to like the middle part or like in front of you on the track. Make it glow. What if there's like unknown in this game? What if they uh, are hidden? Like in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's Toucan Sam again. Funk. There he went. Sleeping. Lipard. Let sleeping Lipard sly. Says the person doesn't want to take good pictures. They glow. Uh, so... I mean, this is still the level 1 version of this area, so... There's not gonna be... Oh. Toucan jump scare. What are you gonna do when the... Surprise Fruit Loops attack? Ancient Ruins? Can I scan that? Make it glow. That wouldn't be there if there weren't a reason for that. I want I want the uh, professor guy, Professor Mirror, to tell us all about that. Maybe I wasn't meant to see that yet. Yeah, just put like a, I don't know, like a Zapdos or something perched on the side there. It's all Yon Megas. Where where are the other Yon Pokemon? Yonma and such. You think that they'd stay close together since they're like related? We can get them glowing and eating fruit at the same time. Oh no! Magikarp, eat him there. Change of plans. Glowing, glowing Magikarp. Four K Magikarp pictures. Uh, that sure is a bright beam of light beaming up, beaming up into the sky. Uh. I'm looking for like secret Pokemon that are in like the areas that the, the game expects you to not look because you know they're gonna hide something there at some point. I have a feeling. <laughs> I just realized that the that the thing that you're in is basically a Pokeball for trainers. <laughs> or not trainers, but for photographers. It's a, it's a Pokeball with wheels. Let's, let's see if we got to level 2 or not yet. I'm pretty sure that's all we need to get to the, uh, big glowy Pokemon here. Like the Manium before, I forget what they called it. But... Basically the Pokemon boss. 
that's not a very good picture. That's a better one star picture though. Ancient ruins, yeah, tell me about this. No subject. Are we getting two star pictures? No. Okay, I think that's good. Let's do this. Two cannon. Nice work. Fascinating behavior. That's a way better Magikarp. Easy. Easy improvement. Is he gonna tell us anything about that? Or are we just gonna have to find about that later? Or maybe they never explain it. Haven't picked up on an overarching story arc yet. It still kind of feels like a like a Disney ride. Uh, we're that close to getting the next level. Okay. Should have taken more pictures. Hey, so that's kind of weird. How it's like everything else is like a proper 3D model that's being affected by the environment and stuff. And anytime she appears here, she's just like a drawing transposed on the background. Relax, it's just a drawing. Jungle's missing. Found your jungle. Uh, let's go. Let's go. They should have made some some Let's Go games with other Pokemon besides Eevee and uh, Pikachu. <laughs> oh man, what 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 kid doesn't want uh, Pokemon Let's Go Garbodor? <laughs> Okay. Wait. Is that actually the noise that they make? Hey. Hey, eat the fruit cat. Hey. Can't believe they didn't want the apple. To be fair. Uh Good luck finding a cat that'll eat an apple. You know cats can't even taste sweetness. They don't have they don't have sweet receptors on their tongue. So cats literally can't even can't even taste like sugary things. So they would have absolutely no interest in fruit. Oh, there's something in there. Make him glow so we can see him easier. I don't I don't know what it was. I saw a movement. Wait, they weren't here before. Bonk. They're too asleep to care. So that's that was different though. 
it seems like some stuff is changing, even if the level isn't changing. Or maybe I just looked in different places last time. But it seems like there definitely wasn't a, a lie part there in the, on the ground. In front of that tree. What? Animals move around sometimes? Gasp. Uh, whoa, that magic carp's just hanging out there. Uh, so there's the ruins. Got try and see if we can find some new stuff here. We need that, that little tiny bit of extra experience points, I think, before we can get access to the next area. Yeah. Were there two magic carps before or three? I think there's an extra magic carp. Oh, whooper. Perfect. Just who we're looking for. I am not aiming these apples very well at all. What on earth are you doing? I I didn't see that before. He was he was eating his own tail, like some sort of Yon Mega Ouroboros. Or he was just cleaning himself, one of the two. Uh, what Pokemon is that? Those look like a real plant. I've seen plants like that before. All right. Okay, that should get us the experience points we need. Get access to the next area. I'm ready, I'm ready. Ready for my close-up. Nah, too close. Uh, let's see, we got... I guess we'll get this whooper, because they... Closer to, like, the center. Maybe that'll make the game like that more. That's a pretty good picture. Do I have a two-star lady in? Yeah, that's not a good picture though. They're not even looking towards the camera. Yeah, I like that one that we already have. That, that should be enough experience points though. Professor. Two-star whooper. Every whooper is five stars. What are you saying? Mega Yon Mega. It's a tad unusual. Looks as peaceful as ever. What, it being peaceful as ever is unusual? Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. So I guess having the stars be like diamond level for that particular number of stars is kind of the goal. Leveled up. Look at that, you've hit a new stage in your research. You know, I hope for changes. They're already happening though. By the way. Got something to report. I'm scared. 
Will you want your photos are squared away? I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Sure we will. I don't know what he's planning, but I don't trust him. Surprise cutscene. <laughs> All right, on to the next site. Oh. Oh, two new areas unlocked. Let's go. Now then. I can't get over how small that miniature Raichu in the background is. Didn't Like, I, I didn't realize. Like, you see it up there on the rails. Like, how did they get that small? Uh, I've pinpointed two teleportation points we can use. So they were, like, just starting their research by, by the time we got here. Otherwise, they would have these already. Look. One on this long, narrow island, the other offshore in the middle of the water. You get to choose. Are you going to dive into the volcano, or are you going to go to the bottom of the ocean? The choice is yours. Veluka Sweltering Sands. Isn't that the, the chick from Willy Wonka? It was like really annoying. Maricopia. That's a interesting name for a random stretch of ocean. Blushing Beach. Uh, okay. You know I'm gonna go with the volcano one. Huh? I don't think we're gonna get to the actual volcano, though. There's probably another uh, teleporting point around the area that we get later on. That's my assumption. Captain Vince never got to that sp spot offshore, did he? That's great. What happened to him? What's gonna happen to us? Is that like the Pokemon Bermuda Triangle? We'll probably take tons of interesting pictures there. You decide what order you want to visit them in. Keep up the good work. Oh. Hi. First a word from Todd. With his clearly superior camera that isn't just like a like a sad phone camera like we have. There's a feature I originally forgot to suggest to the professor. Got him to add it to your research camera. Wow, he updated our phone camera. What? Melody player. Oh yeah, I remember that from the trailer. That was a thing that you could do. Mm -hmm. A little music can prompt Pokemon to show you the, a whole new side of themselves. Oh no. Wow. Rita. Some sort of Pokemon TikTok dances or something. I'm afraid. Could you fill in the details? Yeah. Excuse me. If you press R. Alrighty then. What's playing? You can press R again to make it stop. So if I just start mashing R, <laughs> make the entire jungle start dancing. Well, music could wake up sleeping Pokemon. Wow, how convenient that is for us to uh, be able to take pictures at night. We can just blare loud music and wake up every everything that's sleeping. What a great idea! <laughs> Especially large predatory looking Pokemon. I'm sure they'll be happy to be woken up in the middle of the night to take a picture. <laughs> Haven't had a chance to try it. 
There's no expert yet. So no one's even tried it yet. They're just like, hey, you're our uh, test subject here. Is there a guinea pig Pokemon? That's that's whatever we are. Some sort of lab rat, some sort of lab Pikachu. Tepig? Is it? I thought Tepig was just like regular fire pig. I didn't know that they were like a uh, fire guinea pig. I guess they're small enough. So next, let's give it a whirl. More importantly, is there a, is there a Pokemon Capybara? If there isn't, there should be. Oh, we got some we got some new posts here in our in our DMs. Huge tree lit up. Saw a bunch of Pokemon fly out of it, but I couldn't tell what kind of Pokemon they were. Uh. Who's that Pokemon? It's Birdachu. Uh, I think I know what Pokemon that is, but I don't remember what they're called. Charmin may might be closer. Yeah, Shaman kind of fits fits the description. Man, I haven't seen the movie that the, the Shaman's in. I know that there's a Pokemon movie. I only saw like the first like couple Pokemon movies like a long time ago. Professor says there's a Pokemon hiding somewhere around there. I think you can find it. Uh, I think I found it. Just put like a do like a YouTube thumbnail kind of situation, put like a big red circle around him with like a red arrow pointing at him. You won't believe what I found in the jungle at 3 a.m. challenge. Have you ever seen a flock of swana take flight? You should definitely try to get a photo of the stunning sight. Ah, they're rhyming because they're like swans and they're like artistic and stuff. There's a Pokemon that Pinsir tussles with often. Two are actually good friends. Uh. I've been past that spot like quite a few times and I haven't seen that yet. Contest is who can taste. who can take the best photo of Bound Suite. Uh. This is a lot of extra requests. We've got two out of almost 30 requests here. eat anything other than sap so we need to try and feed the mushrooms we could do that standing up on its hind legs good luck taking pictures of, of them they're a cat anytime you try and take a picture of a cat they always change what they're doing right as you take the picture Oh, there was one more I didn't see yet. You should think of eating, eating in midair as it flies. Sure thing, Todd. Hey. Oh boy. About to get filled in here. Just about you and me, okay? You're not gonna believe this new feature for the Neo 1 the professor's testing out. It shrinks the whole pod. Honey, I shrunk the Pokemon. What? That sounds dangerous. Why would I do that? Is this Scholastic's the magic school bus? Are we gonna go on a field trip? Uh, 
no, that, that sounds like a really bad idea. <laughs> and a good way to end up accidentally nearly eaten in a bowl of cereal or something. What's up? Well, hey, you two, what you doing? <laughs> scheming and plotting and plotting and scheming. Oh. Nothing. Oh, she's that kind of person, is she? I'm gonna tell the teacher. Hold on. Cut it out. I'm actually with Phil on this one. I didn't think I'd be saying that. <laughs> Works for me. Anyway, the shrink function. Should kick in automatically if you're on a scan at this one spot in the nature park. So right. Shrinkitize me, Captain. Thanks. Uh. Okay. New area shrinking. New area shrinking. I guess we'll do the shrinking thing. Got that shrinking feeling. Just because I'm curious about uh, what's going to happen. Feel like a giant Durant or something. It's just a hunch, but I have a feeling you'll find something new. Oh, I forgot Grookey was in this game. There he went. Oh yeah, and since this is level 2 now, that means that we're going to see a bunch of new stuff here too. I'm out of there. I see you. Wait. Music. That uh, doesn't look like Bidoof is interested. I managed to catch that. I mean, it's just in the corner, but still. Hey. Flying Pikachu. I think we're at the point now where you could make an entire team of Pikachu clones. That'd be kind of a fun challenge. Like, I don't know which, which Pokemon game would be the hardest to do that in. I feel like that'd be a fun challenge run. Pikachu clones only. Uh, they sound like ducks. They just sound like just straight up ducks. Did you come back? If I play music, will you come back? Oh wait, are we near the tree that I need to shrink at? Oh. That, that, wait, no, is that it? Is that it? Uh, bear? No, fruit. This might be it. I hope I didn't miss it. Hey, get out of there. Uh, Oh, it's up, up, up there. Ah, oh, I missed it. Can I, can I rewind? Uh, shoot. Hidden Pokemon around here?
This sounds like the kind of music you'd hear on like an ice cream truck. How did they get here? It's time. Uh Looks like a task failed successfully type situation. Point of view, Pokemon being traded. Welcome back. It's a four star Amulga picture right there. I feel like that's a better one than this one because the leaves are in the way. How does the game determine that? And that one's way better, because that one's- he's like mid-flight, but he's in the side, though. I think that one's probably better out of those. I'm gonna get the four-star one. I think we only get to choose one. And yeah, we already got that one. Ah, these all have stuff in front of them. Three-star Grookey. We don't have the three-star Grookey yet. Let's do this. Mm. New Amolga just locked. He's looking right at us. What kind of dance is the Grookey doing? Perfect timing. Diamond three stars, no less. Uh, okay. So... I guess we try it again, so I can I can try and get to the uh, shrinky part again. Oh, surprise! Five thousand points or more in a photo evaluation. Research the same course again, level two. Save a little time there. Okay. I have to keep an eye out. I gotta be quick with the reaction time for that one specific tree in particular. Take care. That's a pretty good picture of him right off the right off the start. Do I have Doduo? Can never have too many Bidoof pictures. Oh, a lot of uh, Amolga flying around. There's supposed to be like a sugar glider, Pikachu, I guess. Oh, there's more than one. Okay, is this the tree? No. Is that the tree? No. Is that the tree? No. What? There you are. Come on. It must be like that one over there. Uh, 
<laughs> Just so duck noises. All I heard, or all I, all I hear is, there's the thing. The, the what? Shrink a tie to me, Captain. I, uh. <laughs> oh no. Dynamax everything. Eat the fruit. The fruit shrunk too. Oh. Perspective of, uh... This reminds me of, like, a video I saw once on Reddit where someone had, like, dropped their phone camera that was on. And they had a bunch of chickens that were, like, all, like, standing around pecking the camera. It's like, you do not want to be that small. <laughs> or, wait, are we on top of an emulgan? Shroomish made it in this game. Hey, eat the extremely small apple. Oh, dropped. Are we not worried about them pecking us? I'm worried about them pecking us. Uh. <laughs> Badoof. Why is it all just like the backsides of Pokemon? I don't... I don't understand. Absorb the apple. Just... Eat it. Eat it. Wait, are they supposed to be that, that large compared to, like, Pichu and Amolga? I feel like they're that's a bigger scale than usual. I feel like that's not Dodrio to scale. I'm having a, a real Jurassic Park type moment. Ant perspective uh, Pokemon battle. Do Pokemon battle in the wild? Wait. There's something around. If I if I accidentally don't scan the right thing, are we just stuck this size forever? That looks like a real plant. As far as we go with the test version. Okay, that's good. That's a that's a good safety feature. For for something that shrinks you like that. Maybe. Maybe that's not a good idea though. Because it's like what if you like shrink really small and then you accidentally get stuck in like a like a tin can or something? And then you go outside of the range and you automatically start growing again, but you're still inside the tin can. Let's do it. 
you'd be like one of those pumpkins that they grow inside of uh, like a plastic container so that it takes the shape of the container like the like those Japanese square watermelons except you'll be like can shaped Also, that Sylveon definitely was not there before. So, uh, I would say that was pretty successful. Now we can just go over your photos. Let's talk afterward. Uh oh, we're in trouble. He knows. <laughs> uh, yeah, that obviously it's Phil's fault. All Phil's fault. It's okay though. This experience will inspire Phil to learn from his mistakes and grow up to be a doctor one day, and then he'll become Dr. Phil. This is a prequel. This is a lot of good Amolka pictures. Kinda of hard to choose which one. Now it's like mid-flight, which is really good. I kinda of wanna get the two-star one of the two-star ones. Yeah, I feel like this one's bigger, so that one is probably gonna get us a higher score. That's a pretty good one. Lots of score bunnies. Actually, no, I want to use the one that has the Pichu in it as well because you get more points if there's other Pokemon featured. Shroomishes. It's one angry mushroom. Big Torterra. Eh, it's still not a great Pichu. I don't have the best Pichu pictures yet. I need to I need to get more pictures of him. But I guess we'll compare that one just so we get more experience points. And then we got some good Sylveon pictures here. Three star, three star, three star. I like that one because you can clearly see like the fangs on the side of the mouth. We don't have any four star ones, do we? No. Yeah, that's the best one. It is like right in the center too. AKA best evolution. Competitively at least. All right. mm. Oofaland. Perfect timing. So this is gonna be worth a lot of experience points. Three diamond Oofaland. That's that's quite a bit of picture. <laughs> Hard to tell exactly what it's doing. 
That's intentional. It's a it's an artistic choice. Uh, it's it's open to interpretation from the viewer, like like abstract art. Oh, this is the first time we completed a uh, one of the things. It figures that would be the first one we we fill in. Nice work. We also got our bird servers. So many pictures. I hope they they stocked up in just like industrial sized quantities of film. Nice work. Or I guess memory cards. I mean, it is like a phone camera. Obviously, I'm gonna pick that one. Seems like something caught its attention. Eh. I guess we'll go with that one, because it has a higher score. A new discovery. Never before seen Shroomish. This is where, like, evaluating the pictures afterwards is longer than the the actual part where you're taking pictures. Perfect timing. I guess I could just, like, mash A through this part. But how are we supposed to know our, our feedback on our pictures, then? That's a really good Torterra picture. Improvement by one point. Mm. Great timing. Flowers an excellent look. I mean you don't really get to change the background behind the Pokemon, it's just wherever they kinda of show up. Not like I can just like walk out of the pod. Pick up the Sylveon, set it down in front of a better background. Put the Sylveon in front of like a green screen or something. I would if I could. Mm -hmm. Those get better and better. Make sure our research keeps up with, the, with your progress. Okay, where's the part where he gets mad at us for using the shrinky feature? Side path day. So do all the stages have side paths? Now then. Now then. Let's all convene for a little, a little chat. We have have to have a little word with you. I'm gonna send us to the principal's office. Uh. Do I want to keep any of these? Uh. I do like that Sylveon picture. I'm keeping the Sylveon picture. Just fill my Switch's SD card with Pokemon pictures.
Uh, I guess that's all for now. Back to camp. You know, for a camp, uh, I'm not seeing that many tents. Just a second, you three. Uh-oh. Professor like grabs us by the ear and drags us over to the to the thing. Shrink function is still in testing, you should have asked me first. To be fair, uh he's not wrong, you probably don't want to use that if it's not ready yet. Like There's about a million ways that could have gone wrong. Cover got blown already. Well, how do you think he? Where, how, how do you think he's gonna take the pictures of Pokemon that are like way taller than they're supposed to be? He's gonna put two and two together. He's a professor for Pete's sake. Sorry. Phil's not very good at, at coming up with the plans. Can we cut them a little slack? They only used untested technology that may or may not have killed them. So what? Uh, a water under the bridge now? Wow. Did you know they were up to this? <laughs> How do you know? Todd, how did you know? <laughs> Shrink function isn't fully tested yet. So we're going to keep using it. And eventually things are going to go... Uh, a little bit in a way that, we're, that they're not supposed to. Right. It's for the nature park only. You won't be able to use it anywhere else, alright? He's still going to let us keep doing it, even though it's not tested yet. Yep. This guy really does not want to see us leave the island alive. New requests. Angry Mushroom. Research. Let's go to the new areas now. Thanks. Secret side path. Oh, you can just go straight to the secret side path now. That's... I'm actually really glad that they did that so you don't have to try and make sure that you scan that one particular tree every time. I'm glad they thought of that. Let's go to the desert level now. I'm just like looking at that picture and like mentally editing in like the... Mario 64 desert music. Did you know? There's gonna be like a bunch of pokies moving around. No, not pokies, Pokemon. There's probably a couple jokes in there somewhere. I hate sand. It's coarse, it's gritty, it gets everywhere. Lizard music? Oh, we don't have the uh, glowy orbs yet for this area. Oh! Sc scan it. Tracks. Check this.
We have plenty of film. I should be spamming the uh, take picture button. Are we going to go into this little dust devil here? Wait. Is this what we're scanning? No. There's multiple things to scan over here. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, ignore the tornado behind us. That's a boring tornado. This is a real tornado. Firo. No. Mandibuzz. Anyone have any, uh, any water? Yeah, I need it. Uh, that's dangerous. Isn't like a hippopotamus like the most dangerous animal that there is? Portrait's in the game. Hey, eat the fruit. Wait, it burned the apple. That's actually a really nice touch. Whoever did the animations for this game, can they please do the animations for the next main Pokemon game? You play that music so they think the ice cream trucks are- Oh no. <laughs> the pout on jump scare. He's decided to let us live for now. Okay. Anything gonna pop out of there? That looks like something a Pokemon would jump out of. All formed by wind erosion. Since become a Pokemon stand, I knew it. Amanda Buzz. Different yellow butterfly. Uh. One of those is a good picture, I'm sure. Wait. Sand. Something's buried in the sand. Wait, is sand true in this game? I'm gonna be real sad if, if he's not. He didn't make it into uh, Sword and Shield. He's just kind of sitting there posing for the camera. Oh, it looks like he was about to eat eat the uh, eat the butterfly Pokemon there. They have some bite force. Hippopotami. Sixty-eight photos taken. Back. Some from brand new course. Can't wait to see them. I hope they're taking uh, good precautions to keep the sand off the lenses. That's like a scary thought. Like anytime that you get like a you have like a nice camera, it's just like. Please nothing scratch the lens. Please nothing scratch the lens. They're all facing away from us. I'm gonna go for that one. Sand lizard. Ah, that those are a little bit closer, but this one's two stars. And he's looking right at us, so I'm gonna go with that one. Technia. If only he would just face us. Why is it like I swear every Pokemon in this game, whenever we see them, they're always looking the other way. Uh 
This one's closer and right near the middle. Pavilions. That's a pretty good one. Amanda Buzz type pictures. See, I feel like that's better composition overall, but I know the game's gonna be like, uh, no, this one's closer, so that's a better picture. Even though that's a way better background. Hippowdons. Wait, how is that a Hippowdon picture? <laughs> Focusing. Focusing. Uh, so it looks like they're all either one or two stars. I like that one because he looks pretty happy because he's like surrounded by apples. These are really close though. Uh, decisions, decisions. Technically, he's this one's got the the whole Pokemon in the frame, and they're like right up close to the camera. So I feel like that's technically the better picture, at least what the game's gonna consider a better picture. Torchic, burning the apple. Obviously going with that one. Okay, we got Torchic in this game. That means odds of finding a Blaziken in this game are relatively high. Just gotta evolve twice. Skorupi. Maybe kind of fast forward through some of these that are like the less interesting pictures. A new discovery. First time we've got a picture of them. So obviously we're keeping that whatever picture we got because it's the only one we have. Cacnea. Nice work. And. That's a better picture. Nice work. Yeah, they just barely gave us a higher score, but that that's obviously a better picture though. Man the bus. A new discovery. It's just waiting up there in the sky. Buzzard Pokemon. I'm still not entirely sure what differentiates like a like a diamond one star picture versus like a like a gold two star picture. I pout on. Nice work. The pose? I don't know. So that's a diamond two-star picture. Pokemon looks nice and big. Uh, yes, it is. It is a big Pokemon. Torchic. A new discovery. I'm so glad in, in like more recent Pokemon games. That's just reminding me. They made it so you can actually start catching like starters. That always annoyed me in like the original games, how you basically, like, if you're playing like Pokemon Gold, for instance, if you pick if you pick Totodile at the start of the game, you're you're never gonna be able to get a Cyndaquil. Like, unless you like trade for it. 
Like, that always annoyed me that you couldn't get the other starters. I mean, they had to catch them from somewhere, which means they, of course, they're going to exist in the region somewhere. But too bad if you didn't get the, if you didn't get the starter you wanted at the start of the game, then, uh, or you wanted like a like a different starter at the start of the game, you're just gonna have to reset the game and try again. I I'm so glad they fixed that. Seems to be using Ember. Perfect timing. You did wonderfully. You flatter me, Professor. See, like, why is that a gold three star and not a not a diamond three star? Maybe I needed to zoom in more. They should give us like different lenses. It was like a big old telescopic lens. Great work researching this new site. Hope your next trip goes just as well. Desert research team. Yeah, I want, maybe I'll save some of these pictures. Uh, none of these. Uh... That one's just not centered very well. <laughs> pictures moments before disaster. <laughs> Where's it going? Uh... Yeah, we gotta get- I'm gonna save that one. <laughs> Happy vibes. <laughs> Maybe for the Hippowdon. Not- not for the... Not for them. Enhance. <laughs> Perfect timing. Alright, let's let's check out the other new area. Thanks. He is. The butterfly was so lucky to escape in one piece. Okay, let's see what why it's called Blushing Beach. Pristine sands and pastel tones make for a serene shoreline. Hmm. Photographing wild Pokemon takes patience. The mark of a pro is when you don't just put in the time, you enjoy it too. And also if you take good pictures, that's also pretty important. Yeah, I had a feeling uh, blushing beach meant uh, warm and relaxing place. pink sand, inexplicably. What Pokemon is that? Is that sh Shelder? Shiny, shiny Shelder? What on earth are you? Crab Rawler? That's another Pokemon I've never seen before. What was that? Awesome. Hey. Listen to the music. Tropical Pikachu. Oh, it's it's the Pikachu from the from the start of uh Pokemon Special Yellow Pikachu Edition where he's like surfing. There's like the cutscene of like the surfing Pikachu.
Must be the Pikachu that turned into like an Alolan Raichu at some point. Now that's, now those are some good pictures. The camera likes the Blossom, why are we stopped? Oh, because Executor is here. Cool, that means we get to hang out here and take good pictures of everything around us. Because the game is waiting for us to move him. But I don't actually have to move him. Hey. Weird purple Kingler. Crawdont. You wanna go? You wanna fight? You wanna throw claws? Oh no, he moved. Whole flock of wingles. I feel like the key to getting Pokemon in motion like that is to just take a, a million pictures and hope one of them turns out right. Eat it. I guess they don't like apples. Marine pattern? Yeah, why can't the normal Pokemon games have this many Pokemon? Uh. I wish that, like, the areas in Sword and Shield look like this. Oh. There's the purple Crystal Bloom, I guess. Of course, Gala. That was your last photo, but let's press on this time anyway. Oh no, I, I used all my film. What have I done? Oh no, just in time for the crazy uh, weightlifting show over here. There's an oct octopi in here. Oh, there's gonna be so many. I'm gonna get like all of the opportune picture taking moments. And I'm not going to be able to take anything. I can at least give them fruit. What are they zapping? What are you shocking? Maybe if I'll, I'll give him offerings, he will allow us to travel safely without getting zapped. There you go. Oh, someone push him back in the water. Oh, wait. What? But, like... But, like, why, though? Low tide? Uh... Well, at least we were near the end there. When we ran out of film. Why don't we bring extra film? Or like extra memory cards or something. That seems like a very ill-prepared photographer. Who doesn't bring at least a couple backup memory cards and or batteries. Executor. Let's see... One of these two star pictures. I feel like that one gets more of the uh, subject in the shot, so grab him. Oh, that one's like like glowing. Crab Brawler, a Pokemon I previously didn't know existed. I like that one.
How do I get more than two stars on these? I wonder if we're gonna get like lens upgrades or something at some point. We just don't zoom in enough. I definitely took more pictures of them than that. Where's the picture I took when the when the apple was half eaten? Yeah, that one's more center. Couple beach Pikachu's. Eh, I like the the original one better. Ingles. See, I like that one because he's like pointing right at the camera. Click the white arrow either side to scroll pictures. Yeah. been doing that. Looks like d-pad works too. Left and right. I like this one. Because he's like, there's like that one. He's like flying right towards us. Also, it, I just noticed that there's literally a, a breakdown of how many of each star category on the side here. Oh, accidentally cancelled that. Which, which one of these is the closest? There's only one two-star picture, so we gotta pick that one. Wait. What? Total 13. It just goes from 11 to 13. Is it because there's the Corsola in the other picture, so it's also considering that a picture with Corsola? Like this picture is simultaneously picture 5 for Corsola and picture 12 for Pukamuku. Or Oh, there's different tabs at the top. Oh. Well, that's strange, because I've definitely seen, like, one and two star and, like, other star pictures here. I feel like this is the better picture, but I think the game's gonna think this is a better picture because it's more center and slightly larger. Can't. Oh, you can't select the picture unless you make the plant glow. Okay. They're not accepting my shiny shelter pictures. Evaluate. All right. A new discovery. That's a pretty good one. 
Nice work. Do you think they're gonna have a Lowen executor here? Looks like it's been bopped by something. Punk. Two stars. Diamond stars. Of course, la. Of course, la. Perfect timing. That one also appears to have been bopped by something. A new discovery. I'm seeing a lot of strange Pokemon for the first time here. Yeah, again, as soon as I get the option to do, like, DS stuff, I'd love to be able to play through, uh, like, Black and White, X and Y, Sun and Moon. I just, I just, I just can't do it yet. I'm actually thinking about maybe starting to mess around with, like, some, like, Pokemon fan games or ROM hacks or, and stuff in the future. Since you guys seem to like Pokemon stuff a lot. Great job getting the Pokemon to look straight at you. A new discovery. Blossom with Apple. Nice work. I'm kind of surprised that they went with inventing a new kind of fruit. The just, just for this game, like. They could have totally just given us, like, orange berries or something to throw at them. Great job getting the Pokemon to look straight at you. Especially when apples, like, regular old apples are, are canon in, in the Mystery Dungeon games. Wingle inbound. Nice work. I'm just imagining like the wingle going past us really fast or like jet noises behind him. Take care to get the Pokemon's face in the picture. That's all we got in the picture of him. One in right at us. So make another fine addition to our collection. Nice work. That's a nice picture, but I don't think that's going to be a better score because it's just too far away. Throwing fluff fruit. Or running scans might get the Pokemon to face you. Yeah, I'll keep the desert one. Even though I like the color palette of the new one, it's just not as good of a picture. Mm -hmm. Almost got to the next level of the beach. Let's go there again, actually. I want to see what the beach looks like at night. Ocean research team. Desert at night could be cool, too, actually. Beginner photographer. What do I even do with the titles? Grass type. They like gave they like gave all the types new icons too. Like usually they use the ones from the trading card game. Unless they change the trading card game ones, and I just don't know because I don't play the trading card game. Turn to camp. Thanks. I wonder if they have like a like a Pokemon trading card game, like video game, like a like a Hearthstone, but Pokemon instead. That's gotta exist. 
Ever seen a wingle do a loop the loop? That's funny that they translated like loop de loop to loop the loop. I can get a photo of it before you. I bet you can too, Phil. Catching Wingle mid barrel roll. Blossom seems to react to the scan function. So you're telling me you you found that out. You know that it, it reacts to the scan function because you scanned it. Which means you had a camera with you, but you didn't take the picture of it yourself. Okay. I see how you are, Professor Mirror. Cacnea flying the other day. Anti-gravity cactus. Okay. So we're now up to 35 requests. Uh... I'm just like mainly focusing on like trying to unlock areas. Let's go back there because I think we just need to go through the through the beach one more time and then we get the night version. That's gonna be cool. Do you react to music? No. Just keep the uh, ice cream van music on. Eat the fruit. 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 He <laughs> doesn't know what to do. Oh, that's not the fruit throwing button. I need to just like not use the uh, shutter button for a while. Just give these guys some fruit, let them hang out, let them have fun. Uh, that way we can take pictures of the stuff that we didn't get a chance to last time, because I ran out of film. I'm missing every shot trying to throw apples at this Pikachu. Bonk. Something in there. Oh. Blossoms. They said they respond to scanning. Scan. Really? Is this how you get the... Oh, I need to stop. He's like, oh, I need to make sure I don't, I don't waste all my film. This needs to take ten shots of the... Pokemon we already got a picture of before. Funk. Is this the Windows 10 background? Like the default background? Too much water. Okay, so we'll wait a little bit. Turning a scan. What is that? Oh! We can go to a different path? Finneons. Look this way. Stop. Stop facing the other way. I'm trying to take pictures of you. I swear, it's like, did I buy like the weird version of this game where everything's glitched and all the Pokemon are like facing the opposite direction on purpose? Octopi. Ah, 
Uh. And there's this weird thing. Wait, there's a scan thing nearby. Red shovel. Did Pikachu leave that here? Why is he just randomly thundershocking in the middle of nowhere? Eat, eat the fruit? Uh... This is a lot of random piles of sand here. Scan you. Look this way. Oh, a mad. Uh, one more chance at the wingle. Strange. That's probably enough experience points to get the nighttime version. Welcome back. Being at the beach at night kind of freaks me out. Because you like look over the ocean, and there's obviously no lights out there because it's you know the middle of the ocean. So it's just like infinite darkness. Oh, thanks for the follow. Uh Nat Attack123. Appreciate you. All right, let's look through these pictures. We don't have any one-star pictures yet. Uh, looks like he's like trying to cover his face so he doesn't show up on camera. Too bad. Oh, these are for like the challenge. Okay. And we don't have a three-star at all. That's obviously the best one. Aw, champs. <laughs> kind of kind of questionable pictures to have, but This would be such a so such a better picture if there wasn't like that random like kelp in the way. A little bit of a bobbin for apples, but there's a surprise at the bottom kind of situation. I'm gonna get that one just because I feel like that's that's like the best picture, even if none of them are particularly good. Do Pikachu's just do that? Do they just sit there and thunder shock randomly? all of our two-star pictures. Taking a... That's a big bite. They just ate like half the apple in one go. Do a... a little bit of a Pika Chomp. I like this one because he's like all angry and electric-y. And we have to make that glow before we can work with that. Alright. Let's see how he likes those pictures. How you like them apples, Professor? Crab brawler. Nice work. Looking like a... Almost like a hermit crab. No, I think it's supposed to be like... Uh, what is it? Like a... Mantis shrimp? Pistol shrimp? I forget what it is. The ones that like punch, and it, they like punch so fast that it causes like a flash of light, and it's an actual real life animal, and not a Pokemon somehow. And they're like a total pain to have as pets because sometimes they'll punch the, the glass of the. like the, the aquarium they're in, and they'll totally just punch through the glass. Some sort of. One punch shrimp. Mm. Nice work. 
That's a pretty good blossom picture. Dancing and such. <laughs> a new discovery. Great timing. It wants you to see how toned its muscles are. <laughs> Good work, this is no easy shot to get. Whatever you say, Professor. A new discovery. Bright orange octopus. Yeah, if that were a real animal, I wouldn't get near it because uh, bright colors usually means you don't want to mess with that. I feel like it, it maybe it draw like some inspiration from like like blue ringed oct octopi in real life, but they choose but they chose a different bright color instead. Nice work. I mean, I'm just afraid of the ocean in general <laughs> cuz that's uh, where all the scariest animals are. Cone snails, stonefish, and such. Nice work. It's a pretty good Pikachu. That's got to be a good picture. How is that only two stars? I guess we'll be able to take better pictures whenever we can make them all like glow. There's the level two. Private beach. Electric sticker. Wait, we only needed two fighting type pictures in order to get the fighting type icon? There must not be that many fighting types in this game then. Fill you in once your photos are squared away. Let me guess, nighttime beach? Do we want to keep any of these? Not really. Turn to camp. Nighttime beach. Nighttime beach. Seems like you're about ready to move on to the offshore area. Oh no. By the way. Anyone can travel over a reef just as well as over a river, after all. Now. Let's take a closer look at that coral. Coral! New area unlocked. Thanks. So do we get the nighttime version of this? No. Okay. Let's go check out the reef then. They always do such a good job with the silhouetting on Pokemon designs. Like I keep seeing like the you know the silhouettes of the Pokemon on like the loading screen, and like I immediately know what those are. I know there's like 800 something Pokemon, but they always do a good job with that, I think. It's really impressive. They're able to consistently design characters that 
easily discernible from each other, even though there's like almost a thousand of them. Also, shark. Every time I look at him, he like he like turns away. Scanning. Dude, fruit. If the if the other predatory animals eat fruit, then maybe the shark eats fruit. Maybe this is a fruit shark. Oh. Maybe one of those turned out good. I have to wait till we uh, develop the film. Oh. Is this one of those like nightmares? Anyone else have like whirlpools and in, in nightmares? That's that's what this is reminding me of. We'll offer, uh, I guess, Kyogre some offerings. Maybe they'll leave us alone for now. Oh, it worked. Why does Wingle sit like that? Well, like his wings bent. Looking like a W. It's an entire whale. Whale Lord. Uh. Do you do you eat fruit? I know it's not krill. Maybe it'll do. Oh, is he going? Is he going? Is he going to jump? Is he going to dive in? Oh. Catch the catch the apple. Catch it. Catch it. Helper. How crazy would that be if I like, I like throw an apple at the Pelipper and it drops a letter out of its mouth? There's like a Pokemon village nearby. I should probably be keeping a close eye under what what's going on under the water here. Where? There. Oh, I missed the chance to do that, but that's fine because we we haven't been in this area before, so I kind of want to go through the normal route first. But we'll just have to keep that in mind for later that you, there's a branching path. As soon as I look at the Pelipper, he turns away. Hey. Get the fruit. What am I hearing? Oh. Marini. Another Pokemon I have not seen before. Do these eat fruit? Do eat fruit. Is that something that you like? What are they doing? Is that just how they walk? They just kind of have to wobble back and forth like that? Like they're a sentient statue or something. Crazy. Wow. Made a lot of new discoveries. May I see your favorite photos? That depends. How much are you uh, willing to pay for them? Oh wait. Yeah, we're... Free child labor, I, I forgot. I like that one better because of the water in the background. I like this one because look at him. Look he looks like a he looks like a little bird M. Like uh, is this wing supposed to bend like that? That looks painful. <laughs> 
Like he's got some sort of weird like bird elbows. Sharknado. Uh go with that one. Up close and personal. Okay, so they're all one star pictures. Which means any of these is going to be good for us. I like these ones because they're actually facing towards the camera. And. Uh, but I like that that one's closer. That the game's going to like that better. Entire whale. That's a good picture. Look at how well he's framed in there. Water's taking up roughly half of the thing. I feel like that's a good ratio of water to sky background. He's all up close near the camera. It looks like he's like psychically like levitating the apple. I'll have him look at that one. Pelipper going for a swim. And no subject. Okay. Tell me all about this. Professor Mirror. A new discovery. I feel like that's such a, a, a weird name for the professor. I, I get that mirrors are like a key part of like cameras and such. Is that the way they call it? The lentil region? Because it's like lenses? Lentil lens? Maybe? Nice work. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. Vineon totally sounds like it could be a name for Vaporeon. Nice work. Anytime I hear Eon, I, I assume uh, Eevee relative. That's a pretty good shark nice picture. Work. Throwing fluff fruit or running scans might get the Pokemon to face you. Mm. Nice work. I don't I don't feel like he's too interested in fruit. Now come on, you can't get a better Whale Lord picture than that. Like, how are you supposed to get a better Whale Lord picture than that? I mean, he's so big, you have to take a picture from a distance. And he's like perfectly within like the bounds of the of the of the shot. Perfect timing. Nope, two stars. Yeah, that's perfect placement. My champ. Perfect timing. They should also have like programmed in like rule of thirds type stuff, because I feel like that's that's a really good picture. But uh, even though it's not like right in the center. That's the reason why if you if you see like phone camera apps and they have like the grid on it, like your eye will naturally rest like a third of the way through looking like scanning across an image. So that's why people always put like things at like the focal points like a third of the way into either side of the shot. Like you'll notice that if you just like look at YouTube thumbnails, like always like the most successful ones will put like, I don't know, 
like like a person's figure like one third of the way in from one side of the picture because that's just more aesthetically pleasing or they'll put something big right in the center but putting something big right in the center isn't the only way to make a good picture take care to get the Pokemon's face in the photo uh, I, I can see their face pretty clearly in that photo, Professor. I think you need a stronger uh, prescription for those glasses. Nice work. Seems to be swimming. What is flying if not swimming through the air? You've got Marini. I think that's related to that one Pokemon that people always use in competitive. Uh, Poxapex or something. I don't know. It's from a generation of Pokemon I didn't play, but they look very close to each other. It's a fairly common behavior. <laughs> Standing on the side of the beach. So I, I, I just take it we need to do more scans. Research level. Our research is just getting started. Best shot collection. Amazing. Return to camp. Got more challenges. Hiding in the sand. Something's about to happen, I just know it. Three out of 39. <laughs> I swear, every time we go to one of these levels, it's just like, here's another 20 challenges. Three in a row. Get a sleeping executor. Get one of them going into the ocean. Pelipper bobbing for apples. Wait. Oh, we got that one already. Congratulations, you got a Professor Mirror icon. Wow, you should know. Did you Safari know? time again. Let's go back to the desert area. I wonder how close we are to getting the nighttime version of the desert. I'm assuming there's a nighttime version of every area, since the last two had had them. Scan. Oh. Real nice. They're just like, oh. Scan the Pokemon to get them to face you. And play a little tune for them. He's looking everywhere but here. I, like, scared him off. Wait. Some tracks. Cactus contemplating his life decisions on the side of a desert. Oh. He was just preparing to do that. <laughs> How do you get caught up in there? Ah, uh, someone save him. We 
little bit of a Wizard of Oz type meme. Impossible to see what's happening inside the Fierce Sandstorm. That was a good picture of them. That was not as good of a picture of them. Am I to assume that there's something in all of these piles of sand? I'm gonna have to get good at like no scoping with the camera. Yeah, snap. Snap. I wonder if anyone speedruns this game somehow. I feel like that would be really hard to do considering this game is... Like, the rate that you go through levels is is fixed. So basically, I feel like the only way that you could speedrun this game is just like get all the pictures you need and like as few it goes through as possible. I need to keep in mind that I also need to make sure that the little Pokeball icon goes to the center of that thing. Because I feel like that's a big part of how the game decides if a picture is good or not. Get me pictures. Pictures of Spider-Man. Or er, Ariados Man. Come on. Trying to get something to climb out of the cave. Maybe we'll lure something out of there. Something gonna sneak up behind us? We're engaging in a heated discussion. Uh, quick, start spamming pictures. We've got film left unused. Why don't we just take like a video clip and then just pull frames out of that? There we go. I know what he's going to do with those hip out on pictures, but he's got them now. some photos to show me. Okay. Now I have like this giant stack of hip out on pictures. Take your pick. I've got a hip out on for every situation. We don't have a one star for him yet. Maybe the sleeping one's better because that's like Unusual behavior. Look at him go, he's flying. Oh, well, that's probably part of that challenge. We're supposed to get like a flying version of that Pokemon. Uh. See, this is framed well, but it's also not as close. Sleeping hip out ons. They're all either one or two stars. I kind of like the picture we took earlier, so I'm going to use one of these for the one star. Uh, two of them engaged in discussion, or two of them sleeping? We have, we're spoiled for choice here. Uh, yeah, the pout on discussion. 
One star Torchic. Ah, uh, these aren't that good. Tell me all about it, Professor. Let's do this. Mm. Nice work. A new cactus. Sleeping on the island over there. Mm, great timing. Scroopy. Oh no, it's been swept up in a sandstorm. Texas type picture. Again, I like the framing in the background better, but the game thinks this is a better one, so I'm going to just use that one. Nice work. Out on. Mm. Nice work. One star Torchic. How are we doing on terms of research points now? Level two. We get the night sands. All right. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Again, that that's generally not a good thing with wildlife. Huh. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. Yeah, I didn't particularly care for any of those pictures, so we'll just go straight to it. Looks like you've gotten some great research done in the desert. Now. I suppose it's time to take the next step and have you go there at night. Oh no. You mind? Deserts are so weird because it's like, oh, it's super hot during the day, but then it gets really, really cold at night. Because deserts are not defined by their temperature, if you didn't know. Uh, they're de defined in terms of precipitation. So. Like, Antarctica, for instance, is considered a cold desert. Because there's, like, no rain there ever. Let's go find some Illumina Pokemon. Aluminum Pokemon. Sorry about that, I was working on something. What are you, what are you saying? Aw, oh, man. Right. I'm gonna take a quick 30 second, like maybe one minute, uh, rehydration and ventilation break. I'll be right back in a, in a moment.
Okay, hopefully I didn't move the microphone too much. I'm back now. Desert time. Hope you saved your forks. It's time for dessert. we find hopefully sand shrews hanging out sand shrew deserves to be included more scroopy starts are breathtaking prep inches why is he vibrating Vibrating trap inch. Cactus conversation. Something was flying over there. Oh, it's Sancho. He's here. I'm so happy. I was like, getting worried. This is going to be another game that they, they left him out of. Well, what? Awesome. Is he gonna eat the meteor? Do Pokemon eat meteors? Maybe the rock types. Weird Scorupi type noise. I bet we're gonna see something whenever we get over this sand dune. Big sand dune. Lichen rocks. So, basically, desert werewolf. The fruit. Oh, he didn't... Really? He didn't like it. He just, like, threw it. He's not interested. Whoa, really? <laughs> How can he see with, like, the, the tuft of fur going over his eyes? Don't move. Their motion is based on movement. If you don't move, he can't see you. That was a pretty good one. Oh? Oh no. You leave that Sancho alone? I know I'm just like imagining them like starting to play basketball with the sand true. Apple for you. Uh what are we scanning? Do it! Scan it! Scan it! Oh I missed it. I think we have to scan that in order to get the, the glowy stuff. What are you? Minior? Red cap? Red core? What are you? Shouldn't you be in Mario Galaxy? Sand true? Got music for you? I'm saying wish he could have got that shot every time. Maybe. Oh. Uh. Surprise Onyx. Orange core. The meteors are sentient and they're Pokemon and they're they're falling from the sky.
things I was not ex expected to see today. Indigo core? That's not even indigo, that's like... It's like a light blue. Indigo is like a nearly, like, like super dark blue. Pokemon. Not knowing colors. Even though all the games are named after them. Well. Hello. Not all of them. This is your first time out there at this hour. I want to hear about all the Pokemon you saw. Okay, we got one two-star picture here. How is that a two-star picture? These pictures are way better. You know what? No, I'm going to use one of these pictures. Give that to him. We don't have a three-star picture for them yet. That's a pretty good close-up one-star picture. Even if it's a little bit dark. Many sand trues. They want the picture of him turning into a ball and rolling off before the lichen rocks get him. Onyx close up. Like, look at that. You look at that silhouette, you know immediately that's Lycanroc. It doesn't even need to say that. You could just look at that and be like, yep, that's that's Lycanroc. That's the Mandibuzz that I just realized reacts whenever you put the cursor over it. If you click it, then uh, it moves slightly. That's a nice touch. And this Arbok, what is he? He's like turning sideways. And jumping a little bit. That's a nice touch. Uh, I bet a lot of people didn't even notice that. Okay, we got two three star lichen rocks here apparently. Inspecting the apple. Couple Kangas cons. We have like a close up of the mini ore. Two star. Yeah, he's like right in the middle, facing right at the camera. I need to get I need to get the uh Krista Bloom scans though next time. Seems like from the previous area, they're going for really interesting Pokemon to be like the the boss Illumina Pokemon. A new discovery. So I, I really wonder what they're gonna put for the desert one. Nice work. That's such a good trap inch photo. Groupie. Great timing. Looks like behavior worth studying. Great timing. Well taken. He's investigating the meteor. It's got a lot of personality, doesn't it? Nice work. It's got a lot of spikes. I guess that's kind of like having a personality. Poor Sandshrew. We're gonna need to take more Sandshrew pictures because that's that's not the best Sandshrew picture. Nice work. Looks like a friendly game of tag. <laughs> uh, tell yourself whatever you have to, Professor. If 
the Pokedex entries are anything to go by? Uh, no, they don't all just eat fruit. A new discovery. Onyx, sleeping right in the center of the frame. That's gotta be a good only gold? Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces too? What do you what do you call that? That's about as much of a close-up as you could get. You're just like, no, you you didn't get close enough to the uh giant stone serpent. You need, to, you need to get a little closer next time. Like in rock, new addition to our research. It seems like such a cool Pokemon. I, 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 I've never played a game that has Lycanroc in it, but they seem interesting. The whole different forms depending on time of day. That's really unique. I, I think there may be like one or two other Pokemon that have something similar, but still, that's uh. design. I guess it was feeling too cautious to eat? No. It's because the apples aren't made out of meat. That's a diamond picture. Which makes sense. A new discovery. Can barely, very clearly tell what's going on. Kangaskhan kind of hanging out. This is another Pokemon I've yet to see until this game. That's just straight up those guys from uh, Mario Galaxy, though. tell a lot from a Pokemon's expression. Yes, this expression tells me it's uh, been spinning around in an office chair a little too much. I'm just like, we're just standing here, he's just like staring at us this whole time. Oh, now he starts talking. Need a photograph? A glowing crystal bloom desert at night? Oasis tour guide. Brown type. That kind of just looks like a river, but they made it like taupe instead. I think I do want to take that uh, Lycanroc picture. Where is he at? Whoa, what is that? There's like a streak in the middle of the, of the thing. What is that? It's like he's like lasering the other one. What? Noteworthy behavior? I would say so. I didn't know Lycanrocs could laser each other. Laser rock. And then I want to get the apple one as well. Yeah, here he is. Come on, I need it. Yeah, the picture's just too dark. Seeing the sand true roll in for his life. Some sort of sand true thriller reenactment. I 
Okay, I think those are all the interesting ones from there. Let's go back there at night so I can try and get the uh, Lumino crystal thing. I want to start making some Pokemon glow in the dark. In the desert. Thanks. Research on Veluca Island awaits. I think there's a lot to uncover there. I suspect a trap inch is hiding somewhere in this area. Do you think you can find it? It's like a like a where's Waldo kind of thing, but with trap inch instead. Uh probably underground actually. 41 challenges. Oh, there it was. Roll and stop. Have you ever seen a sand shrew come to a stop while it's rolling? Uh, let's see if we could throw like an apple at him and get him to stop. Get our sand shrew to stop and chat with us for a while. You mind? Hmm. Alright. Let's go harvest some glowy desert plants. They just, they just shot right out of the ground. <laughs> Look at him go. I'm just imagining if they if they try to like make like a noise, they sound like whenever you talk into a like a fan. What was that? Again, all the Pokemon looking away from us. Pokemon at. Oh. Double Sand Shrews. Oh. We're under attack. Did it hit him? One of those got to be a good picture. I can't take a picture of that. Doesn't let me scan. I need to spam the scan button. I feel like there's a lot of a lot of stuff that happens. I keep forgetting to do it. Ah. Lichen Rocks having their evening meeting. for you. Oh no. He's approaching. <laughs> That's so funny to me. It's like he doesn't even notice that we're here. Are we like stealthed? Are we like invisible? Oh? What was that? Sand true. Almost got a good picture of him. Okay, I think there's the glowing. There's the glowy plant. If we get nothing else, we need to get we need to scan this. I think that works. Oh, we're under attack by the by space. I'm just like imagining Rayquazas like throwing those at us. Oh, Sandro, apple for you. Uh. 
Okay, one of those has to be a good picture. Couple onyxes. Oh, what was the? Is it like gonna hit hit the? Uh... What is that? It's hidden underneath the ground. It's time. Almost done. Take a picture of that rock. I mean, that the kind of looks like a big glowy green onyx. Uh, not a lot of Pokemon there at the very end. I think we got the picture of the Crystal Bloom, though. Which means a successful mission. Oh, you're back. You look hungry to take more photos. Also hungry in general because you never feed us. It's like... You should have brought your own food before uh, you signed up. Come out here in the middle of nowhere on the island. Eh, that's not as good of a picture. These are pretty good though. I feel like that's a better one where it's like zoomed in. Uh, I guess I'll try getting this one evaluated because it's like that one's closer, but that one has two in it. So I don't know which one sort of if, if having two in the picture will tip the scale in terms of getting a better score. Three stars. We've already got a three star one, but we don't have the two star one. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Any a sand true picture later? Uh, bounce a little bit closer. He's holding the apple still. Yeah, I like that one. Not as good. Wait, is that a one star? We don't have a one star yet. So we'll at least have a, a one star. We did get managed to get just one picture of the glowing crystal bloom, which I think counts. Now, that. now let's see what we've got here. Trap inches. Looks like it just came bursting out. It did just come bursting out. Silver three stars. Nice. It's a tad unusual. This is no easy shot to get, he says. It's... wait. How is that, like, slightly, like, seven points less? It's closer. I'm gonna go with that one. The game doesn't know a good picture if it sees one. Next is Onyx. It's very imposing. That it is. Nice work. Oh. That's interesting. So having two in the picture actually did give us... Actually, no, I think it didn't like the the size of the of the first picture because I didn't capture the whole thing in, in the shot. So even though the second one is like further back, the fact that the whole thing is in the in the picture 
plus we have the extra one there that gave it a higher score okay interesting That hairstyle, though. <laughs> it looks curious. What about, I wonder? I don't know, maybe the giant metal object slowly hovering in front of it. Trying to get close-ups of, of, of the Pokemon's faces. Again, that's pretty close-up on, on his face. Nice work. Sand shrew. Eating apples. Maybe that's just random advice he gives everyone. Nice work. And we can just skip through this one, because we'll, we'll probably get a better version of that picture later on anyway. Now does this work? This is a Veluca Island Crystal Bloom. In the Illumina state, no less. Aluminum state. Aluminium state. If you're from uh, other places. It's the green one. So does this mean we get access to the uh, aluminum Pokemon in the desert? All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting really comfortable with you. Orange Crystal Bloom. Wait, orange. Now I got the Crystal Bloom info. I've got something to report. I hope you're excited. Boy, am I. Are there any good pictures here? That looks pretty green to me. Maybe it glows green, or, gl or glows orange. Eh, it's kind of hard to see this stuff because it's night. Turn to camp. Loading. Welcome back. What is the Dene looking for on the table? He's always just standing there. Finished analyzing the Illumina phenomenon as it occurs in the Veluca Island. Without further ado, here you go. I thought they were green. Now we just need Mewtwo to show up in the desert, and we can do like a Area 51 type photo shoot. Thanks. Let's try and make some glowy sand true stuff happen. To the desert away. Oh, Torchic silhouette in the bottom left. That was new. Really, sand true or trapinch? Sand ant. That automatically makes your pictures better, I think. Glowy green cacti. Here, have an apple. 
Look this way. Come on. Now those are some good Kangaskhan pictures. Ah! Space jumps here. Hit all these, will, will stuff show up? Enhanced lighting. Come on. That's really tricky to get all three of those lit at the same time. Oh, Lycan Rock's not having their meeting tonight? Oh, branching path? Don't mind if I do. Now we've got glowing werewolf Pokemon. He's like punching the air. <laughs> like, yeah, you wanna fight about it? I know you're sleeping and all, but surprise, you glow now. And you can throw the orb. Uh, while zoomed in. What? I'm hearing Pokemon noises. I mean, not, not too surprising, but... Barely missed him. I, I saw something down in there. I'm gonna keep throwing apples and stuff into the pit. It's Flygon! Look him go. There's gotta be some really cool pictures in there, you know. I should have expected as much with this many trap inches around. Yes. Yes, he did central. All in all, a pretty successful Pokemon Safari. If I do say so myself. Welcome back. Welcome back. Both taking 61. Okay. That's pretty good because it's got two other, uh, two other trap inches as well. You improved. He's flying. That one looks more. I don't think the game's gonna consider that like facing the camera any more than this is, so. I kind of wish I knew how the game like calculated that. One of these is objectively the better picture and I don't know which. That one's more center and it's closer so I'm going to say that one. I don't have a three star of Kangaskhan yet.
that's got to be the winner right there. Two star, sand true. Plus apple. He's approaching. That one's more centered and glowing. So that one has him like punching. I think I'll go with the glowy one. Uh, I guess I'll evaluate that for the experience, since I think that's how that works. That's a pretty good Flygon. We got a 4-star Flygon. That's, that's really good. Evaluate the pictures. That's really good for a first attempt at taking that picture of Flygon. He was flying all over the place. Nice work. He seems so calm. Despite glowing green. Yeah, this is just a better picture. Even if there are two extras in the other one. Wait, how is that not as good of a picture? It's the same pose. He just pointed the other way. Okay, so the game likes it when Pokemon are pointed to the left rather than pointed to the right. Good to know. Like, how is that pose different? Fine game. I can retake it later. Nice work. It leaves quite the impression. It spikes leave quite the impression. How are these glowing pictures that are closer and better framed are doing worse in terms of score? I don't... I don't get it. Fingers Khan. He captured exactly the right moment. three diamond stars. Wait a second. Is it just mirrored that those stars kind of look like the uh, white like star things, like the crystal stars from uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? That looks like that looks exactly like the white cr crystal star. Interesting. like a paper Pokemon game. <laughs> Next to Sandshrew, what a charmer. Great timing. I agree 200%. And then you give the picture less of a score. To be fair, yeah, that one's a lot closer, and there's a lot more going on. Nice work. Glowy werewolf. Pout on. Nice work. Not framed as well, so that shouldn't get as good of a score. Which would you like to keep? This one's just framed better. I like the little bit of like a fisheye lens kind of effect that that hip out on picture had. This is literally the first time we've taken a picture of Flygon and this is the picture we get. Amazing. showing off with Dragon Dance. 
Oh yeah, Pokemon use moves. That's right. The game would have you forget that. Make you think, oh, it's just, oh, this is a wildlife safari with the camera. Dragon dance. I mean, we did see that Torchic earlier that was using Ember on the apple, for some reason. Subjects dead center. Four diamond stars. That is a top tier photo right there. Then a crystal bloom picture too. Now it's obviously better. We don't get scored for that though. Just Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Get better and better. I make sure our research keeps up with your progress. Ah. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. Oh boy, I think it might be the aluminum Pokemon. I'll fill you, fill you in once the photos are squared away. I gotta save those uh, the pictures of Flygon. Some of them. Like one or two good ones. A little bit of a action shot. Enhance. I don't like how if you do save the system though, it will put like a watermark in the corner of the screen saying new Pokemon snap. So if you actually want the picture, it's better to do like this and then, oh, and then capture it like that instead so it doesn't have the watermark. out of these pictures. A little bit of a 4th of July firework show type fly gun. Firework shows would be really interesting in the Pokemon universe because you know they just have Pokemon use moves up in the middle of the air. Have them use like fire blast or something. Just pointed straight up. You can take 72 photos per research expedition. Unless it's your first time on a course, your expedition will end when the photo memory reaches zero. All right. Oh, so that was kind of weird that uh, I managed to run through all the pictures for the, uh, the beach. Like, normally, I guess, if you run out, it just ends it right then and there. But because that was the first time going through the beach area, it, it had us continue. Interesting. Professor! Professor? <sighs> what is it this time, Phil? <laughs> Figure out where we're gonna go next, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Glad you're as eager as ever, Phil. <laughs> Come on! Come on, tell us. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Next research site will be the volcano. Yes! Oh. Alright, that's intense. Wow. Yeah. Will we be okay? Uh. Probably not. I mean, it's a volcano. Like, you ever see pictures of people, like, doing stuff, like, research on volcanoes? They always have, like, like a, like the thick, crazy suits on them. So they can withstand, like, the heat way up close. You don't, you don't actually have to be in the lava for it to be a, a problem. Yeah. 
Absolutely, I just reinforced the Neo one for extra safety. Then he's got like, a, he's just like... Stuck some ice cubes on, on it. Just like poured a little ice water on, on the hood. That ought, to, that ought to hold us. Can Pokemon really live in a volcano? Pokemon... I mean, I'm just thinking Rayquaza lives in space. Groudon lives in a volcano. That's what we need you to go find out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why don't you kids take this camera, go uh, the swan dive in the volcano, and see if you can't uh, wrestle up some Pokemon from in there. Thanks. Best of luck out there. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. <laughs> New area unlocked. Thanks. Pokemon have thrived in this fiery volcano. What? It was just acting like they don't know if there's Pokemon in the volcano or not, and then they're just like, Oh, Pokemon have thrived in this fiery volcanic region since prehistoric times. So they already know the answer, they just want us to go swimming in the volcano. Do we have access to, to aluminum Pokemon here yet? No. Okay, volcano time! the Sylveon in the corner there. That's such a nice touch that they randomize the Pokemon that show up. Start off with Alteria over here, who is a dragon type, even though Charizard isn't. Uh oh, we've got Zapcats. He's like posing for the camera. Now you're mad. Awesome. What is this skybox? Like some TCG background art tier skybox. Aerodactyl. Pterodactyl the pterodactyl. This is just straight up Jurassic Park now. <laughs> Monster Hunter moment. Probably maybe go easy on the on the film. Hey, are you sleeping? Hey, are you sleeping? Hey, are you sleeping? Luxray the first to fall asleep at the party. Oh, again. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be careful with uh, not using all the film, and then I'm using all the film. Do you like the music, Graveler? Doing a little rock climbing. Slugma? What's that? Oh. Yeah, we should probably be wearing some sort of protective equipment if we're that close to, to lava. A little bit of a Charmander-type moment. That's gotta be like the perfect Charmander picture. 
Careful, you're running low on memory. How is he doing that? He's like climbing like a like a goat or something. Uh, I feel like the slug the slugmas are going to be here like pretty much every time, so I'm gonna be conserving film a little bit. There's gonna be a Charizard here, I just know it. I I smell a Charizard. Where is he? He's like balancing on one foot. Oh, I hope he doesn't throw anything at us. What? Oh, we're near the end. Scanning. Scanning. Another ruin. Oh, I should have taken a couple more pictures. I didn't know how long the, the track was going to go. Hello. How was your first crack at this course? Tell me about all the Pokemon you saw. How did you come back alive from that? Altaria. These are all one star pictures, even though I've got them like dead center and glowing and zoomed in and center. That one. Deluxe Ray. Oh, well, we got some three star Lux Deluxe Ray. I guess it's the action shots. They give you like more points if they're actually doing something. I think. That's a pretty good one. A pterodactyl. What'd you say? No made me come over there. Get him right in the middle of his Monster Hunter shout moment. That one's glowing, but that one's just a better picture. Grappler climbing. Yeah, that one. That one's obviously the better picture. Two Charmanders, and they're both framed quite lovely in the picture. Now then. Let's see what we've got here. Dragon Bird. Nice work. Forty-four hundred. Ray. Perfect timing. This looks like behavior worth studying. What, staring at us menacingly? It would be even better if you caught it while it was in the middle of pouncing on you to uh, take revenge for you throwing an apple at it. You should go irritate the uh, large predatory cat some more. You'll get some interesting pictures. A new discovery. Aerodactyl, pterodactyl. Nice work. Mid flight, no less. The other Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. It's like a secret ghost type there like a like a haunter like a like a ghastly somewhere in the corner that's a good picture i i refuse to believe that that isn't a good picture i don't know what a four star picture looks like if that's a three star picture 
That's no easy picture to get. You can say that again. A new discovery. Archaeops, another Pokemon that I am unfamiliar with. I think that's pretty cool that they focused on a lot of like newer Pokemon from like the last like four generations in this game. Because I get the feeling, like, the original one obviously was going to focus on, like, the Pokemon that were out at the time, uh, during the N64 days. Man, people have been waiting a long time for a sequel to that game. <laughs> I'm just realizing, since this literally came out last year. Got Archaeops. Forty-one ninety-nine. Graveler climbing for some reason. Great timing. Where's he going though? Direction could be better. What? You want me to like clip into the side of the mountain and like get a picture of his face close up? We've got Slugma. Nice work. A new discovery. That's a pretty good Charmander. Nice work. There's Charmanders everywhere, but no Charmeleons or Charizards yet. I'm assuming when we level the area up, we're going to be seeing more of those. Come on. 163. I'd never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. Rock type. Dragon type. Return to camp. Thanks. Let's see what our new requests are, shall we? Requests. Uh, what do we got here? I think they always add them near the back over here. Buff fruit to the Pokemon inside the tornado, but it just flew off with it. I wonder why. Gee, I, I really wonder why the Pokemon that got sucked up into the uh, tornado uh, just flew off with, with the fruit. Truly a mystery. <laughs> Kangaskhan only feed their young if they feel the area is safe. You don't see it often, so keep your eyes peeled. That's a really weird expression. My eyes are not bananas. I tossed a fluff root to Torchic, but it, it spewed out tons of flames and burned it to a crisp. I forgot to get a photo. I literally got a photo of that already. Ah. Get another one. This time with uh, twice the resolution. Portrait standing on Hippowdon's head. Well, that's a real thing. Like the birds that stand on top of like alligators and like, like pack it like their teeth and the, the alligators let them do it. Or is it crocodiles? I think it's crocodiles. And the crocodiles put up with it because it's like, ah, free bird dentist. And the birds are just like free snack. So it's uh, kind of a win-win. 
Archaeops is a very cautious Pokemon. I think it might eat a Fluff Brute. It feels safe and secure. Dude's a living fossil. I think he's, he's pretty safe. Slugma going up a lava fall. Just gotta be making that up, right? Totally unbelievable. Completely unlike Slugma to do such things. What? Summer vibes. Let's get back out there, shall we? Professor says that since the islands have different environments, you can find different Pokemon on them. Wow, really? I never would have guessed. Thanks for the hopeful advice. Uh, what's your face? On you. Obviously we're going back in the volcano. Gotta, gotta snap them all. It'd be pretty hard to tell the difference between Day Volcano and Night Volcano, I think. Good luck. You can do it. Look at him go. The whole flock. Man, I, heard, I, I, I sure hope that energy shield around the, the pod thing that we're in uh, holds up to a good, strong Thundershock. I don't know why, but I feel like Pokemon attacks are probably a little bit stronger than what people can make. Does the giant T-Rex Pokemon eat apples? Do you like do you like apples? Would you care for a free sample? Take that as a no. Maybe play a little music for you? Oh, he's not happy. What are they doing there? I didn't see them there before. They just sleep on the side of the wall? Weird. What's down there? Funk. What have I done? Why did you tell me to do that? He was... He was so young. Rip. Is he gonna climb up the wall? That was definitely the one from the request. Maybe they're over here somewhere. Next time through, will do. Enhance. Where the where the slugmas at? That's a lot of a lot of slugmas. Not, not the best picture. Oh, is he gonna do the thing? Where'd he go? You're almost at the teleport point. Not yet. I'm not ready.
kind of tricky to take good pictures in here. Huh? So, Great job. Do I take a picture like in the middle of the cutscene? Interesting. Volcano. All oh, one star pictures. Any deluxe rays? He seems to be enjoying himself. We don't have any, uh, One star deluxe race yet. Archaeops. Very active flying around in the air type Pokemon. I think that one's probably the best one because it's got at least most of them in the in the shot. Eh. Charmander. Oh, we don't have a three-star Charmander. That's a pretty good one. Monferno. Tell me about these pictures, Professor. Now that. Mm. Nice work. Glowy cat. Seems calm, nice going, this isn't a bad shot at all. Mm. Nice work. Nothing special about that one. We could probably take a better one. Later on. Aerodactyl. I feel like that's gonna be a tricky one to get. It just exudes cool, doesn't it, he says. A new record. We've got Graveler. frame Charmander. I think the only improvement is he could have been looking at us, but other than that, look at this entire Charmander. Three stars. He's going for a little bit of a swim. A little bit of a hot spring type situation. A new discovery. First time taking a picture of Monferno and it's four stars. Bronze stars. Again, he's just he's just standing there menacingly. Leveled up. All right. Nighttime volcano.
Congratulations, everybody. We got a thousand po a thousand photos. Half of them are hip out on. <laughs> the other half are sand true. Oh, uh, we got a flower border effect. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made, we got something to report. New area? New area, new area, new area. Fingers crossed. We saving any of these? Uh, fancy Luxray? Maybe. I like the one in the background. Uh... Nice and calm. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't say any don't say anything about his his tiny arms. Don't do it. Don't say it. Yeah, I think we're good. Return to camp. Good, we're all here. Gather around, everybody. I have good news, everyone. Huh? Did you discover something? Mm -hmm. Nah, I just felt like talking. What do you What do you think, Rita? Found as a new teleportation point. It is a new area. Massive mountain in the heart of uh, the island. Picked up a strong energy reading there, high up and hidden in the clouds. The quasi energy. Huh? We're gonna teleport into the sky. Yeah, my attempt to get rid of you by throwing you in a volcano didn't work, so I decided to just teleport you up in the air and let gravity do the work for me. I mean, uh, there might be some cool birds up there or something. No. Not quite. <laughs> there seems to be a forest so high up in the mountain that's above the clouds. Oh. Too awesome. Three awesome. Something about it feels mysterious. Even when viewed from the sky above, it's hidden by fog. <laughs> Take it easy, Phil. Calm, calm down, Phil. Don't get ahead of yourself. Ah, uh, Phil. Classic Phil. Tyrantrum. <laughs> they really named him Tyrantrum. Got really mad when Monferno stuck its rear out at it. <laughs> Goofy cartoon shenanigans. It's all in good fun. Quiet as my sly as foxes, what? Ominous Lipard. Almost, uh, 50 requests. 3 out of 50 is, uh... That's pretty good, right? The Singing Dragon. Rayquaza the Musical.
Pikachu jogging in the background type noises. New area unlock. Pokemon have thrived in this region. Oh wait, yeah. Elsewhere forest. Elsewhere forest. Are we going to find a bunch of Khajiit there? Foggy forest at the top of a mountain hidden by the clouds. Let's go! Hundred percent, there's ghosts here. No, two hundred percent, there's ghosts here. That's some thick fog. Isper. Our connection seems a little spotty too. Be careful. Yeah, didn't take long. Pseudo Udo's evil cousin. Pseudo Udo. The villain arc. Esper detected. Pecleon. Collecting wares for his shop. Uh, you mind telling me about that? Find un unseen power. I see the power right there. A cat is a psychic. Just levitating rocks around like that. Oh. Uh. You getting hot? Professor says it's like summer out there. True. What on earth? Well, this is uh, quite the change of scenery. Of course, they're all facing away from us. Shiftry. Shifty, shiftry, we meet again. Bulbaseer. I've walked your path before. Awesome. That'd be so crazy to me if you just like... There's just like one Pokemon that you rarely see. That's just like... A Pokemon with a, ba with a bandana around it. Like a... From a from a mystery dungeon. Oh. Uh, looks like we're being psychically teleported again. Out of the bamboo forest in the sky. I see you up there. It's like a thing, where it's like, people usually, whenever they're looking for something, they don't look up and down, they look, like, left and right first. So, like, just despite that, I always, like, look up and down first. Or try to. So th things can't sneak up on me. What are you? What even are... Kecleon? Make you glow? That was your last photo. But let's press oh, on. That was a good last photo, though. So I guess we'll just kind of, uh... Throw apples and glowy orbs at things. The rest of the... rest of the time. Bad practice for a photographer, though, to not bring any spare... Memory cards and or film.
How orange can we make this deer? Very orange deer. Seventy two shots aren't enough at times, true. Beware. Oh, this this a hundred percent looks like some background TCG art. Here, you want some fruit? Oh, that's a big old pile of fruit that's already here. Unless that was me. That could have been me. This way we'll just at least get a good idea of what to take a picture of next run through here. Why can't forests like this exist in real life? Man, I wish trees were real. Scanner's picking up on something. More ancient ruins. There is some sort of secret story back here. Ah, there's the end of the stage. What else do we get to take pictures of? Or are you... Uh -huh. Not sneaking up on anyone, Kekleon. And away we go. So what, are like the psychic types like levitating the entire forest or something? Revenant. Which one's more important? Having the entire Pokemon in the shot or having them closer? I'm gonna go with this one. Just for the time being. I'm sure we'll take better shots in the in the in the future. Yeah, I think one of these is the best one. That one's a little bit closer, but you can't see as much. I'm going to go with this one because it's got the bright orange glow in the background. That one's more centered. Deerling. Probably that one, because it's glowing and centered. More previously unseen Pokemon to me. Three stars. Pan Cham. What's he doing though? Oh, the seer. I choose you. Quite a selection here. That's obviously the right one. Unpheasant. That one's more centered. I, I'll go with that one. Take a closer look at that picture, Let's Professor. A new discovery. Nice work. 
How's that? Silver stars. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. It's, it's funny to me that a Pokemon that looks like that is, like, levitating around, like, giant boulders and stuff. I guess that's Pokemon for you. Uh. Look at this cute little guy. Look at him. It proceeds to, like, levitate your entire house. Nice work. It's like the cuter the Pokemon, the more powerful. Leon. A new discovery. Looking for new wares for his shop. Nice work. That is a darn good picture for a one star. Facing the other way. Great timing. The silhouette does kind of look like an evolution, though. Like that kind of looks like it could be like a espion or something. Except for the tiny little bit on the on the top of his head. Looks like it's been bopped by something. Great timing. Well taken. Grandpa. They really named him Grandpa. Looking like a... Like a... Latios or Latios? 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 But if they're like really old... It's over 3,000. What? 3,000? A new discovery. Sawsbuck. Nice work. Too much, too much, uh, volumetric fog. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us. Just like. Line up all the Pokemon. Okay, that's a good shift tree picture. Even if there is bamboo in the way. Now this you don't see every day. Try watching its movements carefully to find your moment. Is he gonna gust us with the big leaves? I swear they always tell us to, to get a close-up of the Pokemon's face, only on pictures that are close-ups of Pokemon's faces. A new discovery. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's telling us that that's the thing that we're doing right. And it's just like feedback he's giving us. Looks like behavior worth studying. Thousand seven hundred fifty-two. That is a, a new discovery. Top tier Bulbasaur photo right there. There couldn't be a better Bulbasaur picture. Great timing. I bet he has a different opinion. It's not four star worthy though.
I haven't seen your pictures yet, Professor. A new discovery. Nice work. Bird and nest. Two stars. Two diamond stars. In his natural habitat. Oh, so close to the next level. Trainee Archivist. Total photo deck score of 500,000 points or more. Man. That happened fast. Poison type. Which is like a dissolving purple block. Dark type. Summer bamboo. Neat. Do we want to save any of these? Are these worth saving? On alert. More like, looks like he's about to sneeze. I think I'll take the, the Bulbasaur picture. Return to camp. Thanks. Uh, research on Veluka Island awaits. I think we're going to go back to the volcano area because I want to what you said and throw some rocks at the Thanks. gravelers climbing gravelers climbing gravelers not climbing gravelers he's he's stealing rocks bluff fruit I think if they're gonna call it fluff fruit, they'd use like a peach or something that actually has, you know, fluff involved. Look at this. Couple shinxes. He's surprised. Oh, he's concerned. Why is he concerned? Where the climbing rocks at? Is, he gonna, is there going to be another one come through here? That was pretty good. Mid-air monkey. What am I hearing? Absolute Jurassic Park type moment. Hear happy humming sounds. Hiding nest of Alterias. <laughs> uh, noisy birds. sleeping. That explains the Aerodactyl. Which Aerodactyl? Oh, there's the guys. There's the guys doing the stuff. Smack. And with the apple. Do it. Do it. Please. Oh. Just missed him. Darn it. Oh no, I guess we'll just have to take another 
trip through the cool volcano again. Well, I, I guess cool isn't the right word. What are you doing down there? A weird reading. This is a summoning circle for Groudon. They're gonna conjure him from the center of the earth. Oh. Well, this is weird. He's like posing for us. Portois. Isn't this a little bit spicy for Shinx, Shinx to be in? There's like sulfur in here. That's quite realistic. The big old yellowy sulfur deposits. That's a... That was a good picture of our, our good friend Charmander. Oh. Typhlosion. Explosion detected. Hey, look this way, Mr. Volcano Badger. Wow. Okay, we're not gonna get the glowy pterodactyl maybe, but we can take a few good pictures of him. Why are his eyes red? They weren't always red. Maybe that's just the lighting. Yeah, let's focus on uh, looking at this. Deep cave extends beyond the arch in the ruins. And that's where we leave. So we are like right at the end. Pterodactyls. Mm, the pterodactyl. forward to this? I'm sure you have. Never got pictures of Shinx before. None of these are particularly exciting. I think we're gonna go with the... this one. Up close and surprised. Flying monkey. Archaeops. Yeah, these are way better. Uh. Yeah, go for the three star. Oh, we only have one three star. Pterodactyls. Okay, we've got. We've got only the one star, so. Either of these will work. I don't know how that's three star, but it doesn't look that great because he's facing away. So I'll probably get the one of the two stars here. Kind of like that one. I wish he was more up on level with the rest of, you know, like on the same plane as the camera, I guess. So we need a one star and a four star Charmander still. 
Maybe we have a better three star. Eh. Yeah, let's get one of the better one stars. What's he doing with the lava? Is he eating it? Is lava like a delicious spicy soup for fire types? Tyrantrum. Eh, none of these are going to be an upgrade. Torkoal's new. <laughs> uh, yes, I can clearly see that this is a excellent picture of Torkoal. Uh, I guess we'll do the two star. Slugma. Explosion. Very happy he makes an appearance in this game, too. They've really been giving him a lot of attention recently. Between, like, the different typed version of him for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I guess I was also thinking about how we had Typhlosion in the Red Rescue Team, but <laughs> that came out in, like, 2005. So, uh, never mind that one. Still, I mean, you'd think that they would include all the starters in each of the Pokemon games. Since those are like the ones that people get most attached to, like a lot of the time. Uh, which Flosion do we pick? Obviously one of the lava ones. It's a little bit glowy there. Eh, that's not good. What about the no subject ones? Oh, just plain lava. There's slugmas in there somewhere. You just have to believe. Let's do this. Shinx. A new discovery. They're both so surprised. Then again, I guess I would be too if I had been living in a cave my whole life and some giant metal object came floating at me. That's a good picture though, because it's like right in the center. Facing right at the camera. Mm. Monferno. Flying Monferno. Great timing. Monkey Inferno. Graveler. Great just rolling around. Mm. Now this is something you don't see every day. Stars. Shormander. Mm, great timing. Interesting. Interesting. Request complete. Bonus. Yeah, just gonna fast forward through this a little bit. Except not Flosion. A new discovery. Nice work. I'm gonna save one of those pictures.
Come on. Yes, level three. Is this the first level three we got? I maybe. Fantastic. Amazing. Research is going great. Make sure you're being thorough with the other areas too. Blue magma. I thought it was just water. Shiny lava. Lintel region six. Volcano type. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. What's the scoop, Professor? Let me just grab that lotion picture really quick. Where are you at? Return to camp. What's he got? What's the scoop? Photo editing? You've unlocked Photoshop mode. Huh. I can't believe there are ruins that deep inside. Must have been built by people too, right? I mean, they'd have to be some sort of, like, fire-resistant people, if they're that close to lava. Mm -hmm. also. Big hole in the wall. Illumina Pokémon's energy coming from inside. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if it were a tunnel that led all the way to the far-off volcano. There's a Pokemon that uses that tunnel to get around. What kind of Pokemon would do that? Diglett? Bug Trio? Uh, any Pokemon that learns Dig? Mm. Have to see for ourselves. Good luck on this next expedition. Amazing. Good. Check these out really quick. Then I'm probably gonna wrap things up for today. Poor little Shinx got startled in the head. We'd like you to lead it back to the Luxray somehow. Wait. I can't leave the vehicle though. He dancing. There's an Eevee fanatic title? I have an objective. requests. Check our pokey book here. Singing dragon. New treasure unlocked. Others. Aerodactyl can't walk very well, so it won't land at all if it's feeling cautious. Only eats on the ground, though. Ah. Luxray Vision. Luxray is looking for something. It uses its special ability to see through objects. No one told me Luxray has, uh, X-ray vision. You can tell it's happening when Luxray's eyes light up. I had no idea. Zapcat's actually X-ray cat. Heard a really loud noise near Tyrantrum, and then all the rebels started falling around me. What happened back there? Excited Torkoal. Swarm of Charmanders. Illumina energy in this area is particularly strong. Okay, this is where we're gonna find our, ourselves uh, another glowy boy. Typhlosion explosion. <laughs> Appears to be Typhlosion's territory. You think it'll get mad if a strong looking Pokemon gets too close? Aw oh, man. 
We'll have to find out about these things and more next time, though. Uh, because I'm wrapping things up now. Uh, yeah, this has been really interesting. Uh, excited that we, we got into, like, all these new areas today. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Like, this game really surprised me. I thought it would be like, okay, this is gonna be, like, a fun thing to check out, like, maybe for, like, one stream or something like that. But, yeah, this is, this is way better than I thought it would be. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure the people who are waiting for the, the sequel to the original one for the Nintendo 64 are, are really happy whenever this got announced last year. But either way, yeah, we're definitely going to be picking this up again on Monday, uh, same time as usual. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream today, appreciate you so much for watching. And I hope you have an excellent weekend. Uh, have a good one. See you next time. Bye.